Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new tutorial every week to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm sharing a very beginner friendly needlebook tutorial. Needlebooks are a great essential to have to keep your hand sewing needles and your straight pins in. They are easy to grab in case you want to do some hand sewing or basting in front of the TV or at your kids dance lesson or soccer game or anywhere that you want to do some sewing outside of your regular sewing space. You will need two to three different cotton fabrics, one or two different colors of felt, as well as a piece of fusible fleece, and I will have all of the measurements listed out over on my website, WhitneySews.com. The direct link to the post will be in this video's description. We're going to start by piecing the outside of the needle book. Lay the narrow spine piece next to one of the larger pieces. Flip the narrow piece over so it's right sides together. Sew along the edge with a quarter inch seam allowance to attach. Backstitch at the beginning and ending of each seam that you sew. Open the piece up and press it with your iron so the seam allowance on the back side is pointing toward the larger piece of fabric. Sew a top stitch along the edge to hold the seam allowance in place. Repeat these steps with the final outer piece. Lay it right sides together, matching up the edges, and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Open it up and press the seam allowance toward the larger fabric piece and top stitch. The piece should look like this. Place your fusible fleece with the textured side against the back side of the fabric and press with an iron to fuse in place. Lay the outer piece and lining piece right sides together, matching up all the outer edges. Add craft clips to hold the layers together and sew around the outside, leaving a two inch opening to turn it through later. Snip off the corners to reduce bulk. Reach in through the opening and turn the entire piece right sides out. You can use a pencil or a point turner to carefully poke out the corners and then give it a nice press with your iron. Make sure the edges of the opening are turned in and sew a top stitch all the way around the outer edge. The needle book cover, so to speak, is all together and we just have to sew the pages in. Grab a marking tool. I'm going to use this disappearing ink pen. The piece section in the center should measure one inch wide. You want to mark a line straight down the middle, a half inch from each side. Flip the piece over and center the two pieces of felt on top. Add some large straight pins to hold the layers together. Then flip it over again and sew the pages in directly on top of the marked line from earlier. Your needle book is complete and ready to use. If you want to take it up a notch, you can definitely add a little bit of ribbon to one of the pieces of felt to clip some craft clips onto. You could also make a few little quilt blocks to use as the front and back of the cover. I think that would be really cute and it'd be a way to make your needle book super unique and personalized to you and your style. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure that you are subscribed here on YouTube so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming sewing tutorials. And until next time, happy sewing.